So the Metapa satellite has uh, 11 instruments on board and uh, of these instruments eight are forming the meteorological core payload, a set of innovative and really up-to-date instruments. Uh, the main uh, payload instrument for the purpose of supporting nu uh, numerical weather prediction is the YASI instrument. It's an interferometer which allows to uh, provide information on the vertical structure of the atmospheric temperature and humidity in an unprecedented accuracy at the accuracy of one Kelvin and uh, uh, a resolution vertically of one kilometer which is needed to decisively improve numerical weather prediction. In that sense uh, we, have, uh, we have this instrument working in the infrared at a horizontal resolution of 12 kilometers over a swath width of about uh, 2000 kilometers and uh, that allows us to cover the Earth's surface twice a day completely with 14 orbits we, we receive. The YASI instrument also allowed to improve our knowledge on atmospheric chemistry and to monitor atmospheric trace gases and chemistry and in addition also to, to support uh, volcanic ash and volcanic eruption SO2 monitoring as, as an example for it. The other part of the payload uh, is the so-called ATOFS package, the Advanced Tyrus Operational Vertical Sounder package, which is composed of uh, a set of two instruments in the microwave, which allow us to look basically th mostly through clouds uh, to the surface. The Advanced Microwave Sounding Unit is uh, providing information on temperature and humidity. This information is synchronized with the YASI instrument, so basically we ca one can combine these two measurement sets. Uh, the second microwave instrument is the microwave humidity sounder. As the name says, it is sounding uh, information in the vertical uh, of humidity structures and uh, allows uh, to, to retrieve uh, humidity features over also swath widths as similar to the advanced microwave sounding unit about 2000 kilometers, also synchronized with these two instruments. So all these three instruments are able to provide uh, this information in a synergistic way. Complementary to uh, this is the heritage uh, instrument, the high resolution infrared radiation sounder, which is also an infrared sounding instrument for temperature and humidity sounding. Uh, which is also flying together with the two microwave instruments on the uh, NOAA satellites NOAA 18 and NOAA 19 and have been flying on the previous NOAA satellites so basically they provide also the continuity of the measurements to the previous mission. Then we have uh, three other instruments which are uh, coming from a research basically uh, environment before the global ozone monitoring uh, experiment Two, the second version of this instrument has provided ozone monitoring and trace gas monitoring information in the ultraviolet and visible uh, and near infrared spectrum and is now flying on in an operational way uh, for a period of more than 15 years. The second heritage instrument from the ESA ERS satellites are, is the advanced scatterometer and it provides information on the uh, wind and uh, wind direction and wind speed at the surface of the ocean and uh, that is very important to locate uh, for example uh, tropical cyclones. The last meteorological instrument uh, is GNSS receiver for atmospheric sounding which is making use of the global positioning system satellites which always emit a, a signal to allow the uh, positioning uh, at the Earth's surface, so when this signal is emitted and goes through the atmosphere, it can be received by a satellite in a lower orbit, so the signal is uh, going through the atmosphere and is received by the receiver on, on METOP, and uh, the signal is refracted through its way through the atmosphere and provides information on uh, temperature and humidity at a, at a very high uh, resolution and precision and this provides about 700 additional so-called radio occultations where, where this kind of information can be retrieved from the refraction angle. So this provides additional information to uh, NWP support. Uh, we have a search and rescue receiver and transmitter so uh, 
ships and aircraft uh, in distress uh, have uh, transmitters which uh, relay a signal to the satellite and that signal is relayed to the search and rescue centers. And the last instrument uh, which uh, is supporting also uh, measurements is the, the uh, advanced uh, data collection system or also known as Argos which is able to collect uh, signals from uh, in situ measurements on buoys for example, Argos buoys or uh, from uh, stations uh, in remote areas and also uh, for example it allows as an example uh, the, the tracking of animals.